I waited on the Lord and he answered me, pulled me out of the pit. So we are looking at Psalm 40 this morning. I pray that you are blessed as we meditate on his word. To the chief musician, a Psalm of David, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and he heard my cry. He also brought me up out of the horrible pit out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see, or, see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is he, the man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are your wonderful works, which you have done, and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come in the scroll of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your laws within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips, O Lord, you yourself know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation, and have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. Therefore, my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. Let them be confounded because of their shame who say to me, Aha, aha, let all, who, all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified, but I am poor and needy. Yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. See, so here we see that the psalmist David, he waited patiently on the Lord. As we wait on him, he will incline his ear. He will listen to us and he will bring us out of our pit. He will take us out of the miry clay, the mud, and set our feet so that they're established on a rock. And blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who doesn't respect the proud, and God's wonderful works, we can't even recount them. There's so many as John chapter 20, uh, verse 25 or 21, verse 25. It says that if I were to write down all of the miracles that Jesus did, I suppose all of the volumes could not contain. He says here, sacrifice and offering you do not desire. Verse six, God desires our heart. My ear you have opened almost like the all that would go through an earring that would go through a bondservant or a doulos who wants to serve his king. And this obviously speaks of Jesus, that he became our perfect sacrifice, and we just accept that by faith. He said, Behold, I have come. In the scroll of the book is written of me, that is our Messiah. That Jesus, he delighted to do the will of the Father, and that his law was written within his heart. Well, we by faith have the law of God written within our hearts. We proclaim the good news of righteousness to the assembly, and that's what we do daily as we study his word, as we fellowship, as we pray, and as we um, you know, gather every Sunday morning and Wednesday nights. Notice uh, the last portion of the psalm here that his prayer is that God would not withhold his tender mercies because there are evils that surround the psalmist and surround us in our lives and our iniquities. Um, they can feel like they overtake us at times. They, they grab hold of us and our hearts can fail us. So we should look to the Lord to deliver us. And people, people who seek to destroy life, those who are murderous, those who are evil right now, 
they're going to be destroyed and driven backward. And David's saying, would you take those people that want to kill us? And would you uh, cause them to be confounded and confused and deal with them? But those who seek the Lord, even though we're weak, even though we're poor and we're needy, even though we need a lot of help, right? We need a lot of help. Um, God's not going to delay in the prayer of the psalmist in verse 16. Let all who seek you, let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. May the Lord be magnified in your life today, in my life, as we seek him and we say, Lord, we have these battles, people tugging at us, people trying to destroy us, people trying to distract us, uh, the world, the flesh, and the devil. We have an enemy of our soul. But more than that enemy, we have an advocate. We have a king. And may he be magnified in your life. May he put your feet on a solid rock. Be blessed in Jesus' name.